Hello, and welcome to the third episode of my series, How to Be a Better Rust Electrician. In this episode, we're going to be going over some resources that you can use to help one remind you how electricity works in Rust, as well as a tool that allows you to design out circuits without having to boot the game up. Because sometimes you just want to test out a quick circuit idea, but you don't want to wait a long time for Rust to open up. Or maybe you're not even at your gaming computer. Maybe you're at work and you only got a laptop with you and you want to sketch out a, uh, a quick circuit idea. But before we get into that, I really just want to shout out everybody that's been watching me lately. Um, I know that these numbers here aren't the most impressive, but um, it really means a lot to me. Uh, this is, you know, kind of unprecedented for my channel. If I come here, you'll see that, you know, I'm getting 1.9K views more than usual in the past 28 days. We actually do last seven days. So you can see that um, you guys have really been, I don't know, just pumping my stats up and kind of making it worth making these videos. And I don't know, most of the time, like if you come down here, I don't really get that many views really made it fun for me to make YouTube videos and come on every day. I'm constantly reading my comments and trying to, um, you know, talk to everybody and answer people's questions and help them out. And thanks to everybody that subscribed, literally, um, if you look in the past 90 days, this will be everything. Um, I've almost doubled my subscriber count. So that's really huge for me. And um, yeah, just Thank you again. Uh, really means a lot to me, and you, you guys are awesome, man. But anyway, we will go ahead and get into the content for today. So this is a website called Rushtrition.io. It's made by a guy named Rushtrition, and what it allows you to do is basically build these diagrams out and simulate how they would work. You can even see I can sit here and you know drag some stuff in. Let's say uh, I don't know here and do this I believe it's the right one's power out correct yeah power outs right so I can sit there do that bring this over here and you'll actually see uh, one the lines that are being drawn and it'll actually show you the power going through so it can help you debug all kinds of stuff like that but um, this is a really handy tool that one allows you to test out stuff that you want to design and simulate how it's going to work, as well as you can view other people's uh, work. So if we come in here to the Rush Tricity, wait a second, okay, there we go. Um, if we come to the Rush Tricity workshop, uh, which I've been linking this in all my videos in the description, so you'll be able to find this. Um, if we come to here, user submitted, you can actually see this is where people uh, make you know rust circuits and all that. We can actually see one that, I produced, oops, excuse me. Um, so here's my main base that I wrote or made. And you can see I was able to share it with somebody. And so you can see here's like a very big diagram. This was everything I had in my base at the time. So you can see my power generator, solar generation, wind generation right here where I'm coming in. You can see where I built my knee core, um, how I have my turrets and all that stuff. And then down here's my auto smelter. But this is a very good tool for one, like I said, just testing out stuff. And then two, like, you know, if you don't know how to build these things off the top of your head, you can, you know, use one of these circuits. Uh, last episode, whenever I was building these configure siphons, because that's what these are right here, um, I was actually referring to, I think it was this diagram or maybe Rush Trishan's one, his power concept delivery V2. But um, uh, yeah, it's, it's a very handy tool. Uh, it does take a little bit of time to get used to and you know know the most efficient ways to use it like for example when I built this down here um, I didn't sit there and place each one of these by hand you know first I put two down then you know, copy pasted put the other two down we had four and then I copy pasted that put another two or another ones down so it's eight so uh, when you're designing these you know try to work smarter not harder so like, for example, right here, like if I wanted to add a whole nother uh, configure siphon to this right here, you know, instead of actually like copying this and putting it everywhere, I could literally just, or excuse me, replacing all that by hand, I can sit there, put it down, and you'll actually see too that it is, uh, it even took all these connections right here that are in here and rewired them up for me. I can just come here, put that there, boom. 
and uh, we extended the circuit. Uh, there's also a bunch of um, uh, short keys, or uh, not short keys, uh, hot keys that you should learn that are actually on this uh, wiki right here for uh, the Rustrition website. And it basically goes over all the keyboard uh, moving or uh, hotkeys. Most important ones you're going to want to pay attention to are these WASD because um, it doesn't buy naturally like go on a grid. You know, it'll try to align, but sometimes you want something to be a little bit more aligned. So like you can select it all, hit WASD, and then it'll align itself to the grid. Or excuse me, not align itself to the grid, but move it up and down a couple pixels. And so... Um, I don't know, this is a really great resource. It's also really good just for learning because you can come in here and simulate and test things. One thing I would recommend is signing in through Steam. Uh, you do not have to worry about getting your Steam account hacked or anything like that. This is all legit. Uh, this uses OAuth 2.0 if you're not familiar. And if you ever want to know if an OAuth 2 is legit, you come up here to um, the website. So this is the official steamcommunity.com website. If I were to, you know, if I wanted to test that this was the real website for Steam, I could come in here, um, let's see, copy page URL. And you'll see it's steamcommunity.com. So make sure, and this is just more for Steam. Anytime you're logging in on the internet, it says like, hey, sign in through Google or Twitter or whatever. That's an OAuth 2.0 uh, service. And just always check this URL. Um, but anyway, this is legit. I'm going to sign in real quick. As soon as it lets me in. Uh, if you don't like this white, I don't know why. And when you're not logged in, it is dark mode. But when you log in, it's light mode. It's always going to swap. But you can come here to change view and, you know, mess with it. But um, the great thing about logging in is you get this new button right here, my circuits. And so you can actually, um, you know, save a bunch of these in here. So like for example, this was a circuit I built for somebody that wanted to make it to where like whenever, if all the doors are open, but if somebody walks up, it'll close all the doors. And I designed this little circuit and shared it in there. Um, there's all kinds of these. Um, let's see. This was my first, this is the first schematic I ever built, which was actually an attempt at allowing you to um, use all four slots in an uh, auto crafter. But there's a much more efficient way of doing this than this right here. This is just a fucking power hog. I think this ended up being something around like 101 electricity or some shit like that. But um, yeah, anyway, before I get sidetracked off all that. But the cool thing is you can come here, create a circuit. You can save it. Um, you can also publish it. So basically, if you click this yes button, it's going to post it into the Discord and the subreddit. I'm not going to do that because I've already posted it once. And um, right here, if you click this cog wheel or the tilde key, either way, you can actually come in here and mess with the simulation settings. So you could come in here and like turn the wind and sun down, how fast the server's going, all that kind of stuff. Uh, like the, this would be like the tick rate. Um, and then down here, you have official links. And right here, uh, the rush, the rush trition, uh, community has their own private server. So if you were to click this, it would give you a link. And what you can do is if you wanted to test the circuit out in game, you can click test uh, in game, let me save. And if you go and in, log into their server and you click or you type in slash test and whatever number it gives you, it'll actually build this circuit out in game. So um, yeah, but basically this is one of the most helpful resources you can use, which is rushtrition.io. And the second one that I want to make you aware of is the electrician handbook. Um, this is basically your Bible. If you want to be a serious electrician, everything you need to know about everything is in here down to the voice packs and the fire, I I anything that can be fucked with a wire tool, a pipe tool, or a uh, hose is going to be in here. So just uh, keep that in mind. They also down here have some useful circuits, so like knee cores, logic gate structure detection, all that stuff. But uh, what's really more important is whenever you click like these little devices, it gives you all kinds of stuff about it, you know, what the power consumption is, all that, and then it gives you some notes. Like for example, the reason why the knee core works the way it works, because uh, we use a splitter and then we take output one and put it in uh, set and then output two into reset. 
that's for a very good reason. And if you were to actually come in here, where is that? For splitter, 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 splitter. I've probably seen it 12 times and you guys are screaming at me. Okay, here we go. If we actually come in here and read the notes. You'll see when the splitter receives power, it does not pass power through all connected outputs at the same time. Power outputs in the order of output one, output two, then output three. Check out the section on circuit delay and power flow. So you're gonna find some really good tips and tricks in here that you would not know even existed. And so if, if I were you, just like I have done, I would start from the top of this book and read everything, even here. I mean, in here, there's nothing that crazy. Well, actually, besides, uh, let's see, the show, oh no, but in here, you can actually give slack to a wire with the wire tool, depending on if the server has that enabled. Didn't even know that was possible. So really go through here and read this because you just never know what kind of information you'll find in here and you know all the little specifics of the game. Uh, a lot of the uh, stuff that I preach in my tutorials actually come from here. I actually sit down, I read this handbook, and I make sure that you know, everything is you know up to code, right? But um, besides that, like I said, these are the two most important resources. The third one is coming in here into the Restriction Workshop. Uh, in here, you have some very smart people, like the God Knee, you know, bless the Holy Knee, uh, as well as like Swift Coyote. He wrote the book, the Le Electrical Handbook. Um, you even have, oh, he's not online, but uh, Extreme Speed. This guy is one of the nicest fucking guys you'll ever meet on the internet. You can literally come in here and I, I can, let's see, let's click this channel. Oh, look, he answered a question. Going to advance. Oh, look. <laughs> There's extreme speed. So this guy is constantly helping people out. Um, and even if it's like, you know, you don't have to have these perfect diagrams. I mean, it's wanted. People want you to actually take your time and develop a diagram and send it to them because they love to geek out over that stuff. But I've seen them help out noobs that don't even know what they're talking about. So if you need any help with the Rush Trucy Workshop, and even I'm in here and I'll answer some questions sometimes if I catch them quick enough if extreme speed hasn't gotten to them. But um, there are some very incredible people in this Discord, and they're always wanting to help out and look over your stuff and show you how to improve it. Uh, so, yeah, join this Discord if you're not a part of it. But this is pretty much all three of the most important resources um, that I would say uh, need to, you know, basically uh, be looked at by any electrician. Um, how long is this video? 13 minutes. That's actually not that bad. I thought this was much quicker than it was. But um, I'm going to leave my episode off from here because uh, I don't feel like there's anything really that I can pack into this. And I don't want this to be a, a, a multi topic video. I'd rather this be on important resources to help you out with improving your electrician skills. So I'm going to leave the video here. But at my upcoming videos, I'm going to go a little bit more into centralized and decentralized theory as well as how to design a circuit and work it backwards. Uh, I might come up with some kind of idea and then we'll build it and we'll just walk through it, you know, together. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you found this helpful and you want to keep up with the channel. Um, thank you again to everybody that has shown tremendous support on my channel. It's been very nice waking up. I, li I literally wake up every day and the first thing I do is I go to YouTube, click my YouTube studio button and I go look at all the numbers. And it's just been a, a hell of a dopamine kick for me. So thank you all again and just, you know, have fun.